Hello friends. So let's write a recursive function to compute a raised to b. So for example, 3 raised to 4. Now 3 raised to 4 is equal to 3 into 3 raised to 3. This 3 raised to 3 is equal to 3 into 3 square. This 3 square is equal to 3 into 3 raised to 1. Right? Now when I have 3 raised to 1, I know 3 raised to 1 is 3. So now from this time, here onwards, I'll return 3 into 3, 9, right? So I'll return 9 here. So 9 into 3 is 27. I'll return 27 here, right? So 27 into 3 is 21. So, right? So if you see, uh, there is a recursion, right? A recursive pattern here, right? So in order to compute uh, 3 raised to 4, I need to know what is 3 raised to 3, right? So I can use the same function to compute 3 raised to 3. Right. So in order to compute 3 raised to 3, I need to know 3 raised to 2. Right. So in order to compute 3 raised to 2, because I don't know what is 3 raised to 2, I will use uh, the same function to compute 3 raised to 1. Right. Because 3, raised, 3 square is 3 into 3 raised to 1. Right. Now, when I have this call that is 3 raised to 1, I know 3 raised to 1 is 3. So I'll return uh, sorry, 3 from here. Uh, sorry, 3 into 3, 9 I'll return because 3 raised to 1 is uh, 3. So this will give me 9. So I'll return, right? So in in general, a raised to b is equal to a into a raised to b minus 1. Right? So a raised to b is equal to a into a raised to b minus 1. Now, when a when this power is 1, I know the answer is a. Right, so I can write a recursive function like this: int power. Right? So to this function, I'll pass two things, two parameters. One is a, another one is b. Right. So I'll check if b equal to equal to one. I'll simply return a. Right. But if this is this is not the case, I'll return this one. I'll have to uh, return this one. Return a into now a raised to b minus one. Who will give me a raised to b minus one? The same function, right? I'll call the same function with a parameter now a comma other parameter is b minus one now. Right? So this is a recursive call here. In fact, so let me write that little cleanly. So if b equal to equal to 1, I'll return a. Else I'll return, I'll return a into power. I'm, I'm going to return this a into a raised to b minus 1. So I'm, who is going to give me a raised to b minus 1? I have the same one. I, I know that function power will give me a raised to b minus 1 with first term parameter as a, second parameter as b minus 1. Right? So that's it. <coughs> so this is a very simple recursive function. If you, let's see the working of this recursive function for 3 raised to 4. So my call to this function will be like this power uh, 3 comma 4. If I number the statements here, if this is 1, this is 2, this is 3, I have this call for power 3 comma 4, right? So A is 3, B is 4, I will check is, I will execute the first statement and I find B is not 1, so I don't execute statement number 2. I go to statement number 3, it says return A, that is 3 here, into power of a comma uh, b minus 1 so b is 4 4 minus 1 is uh, 3 so a is 3 a is also 3 right so here i go to power function again i execute the power function again right so i execute the power function again here so a is 3 b is 3 so i check uh, i'm executing power function again statement all statements of power function i execute 
our statement number 1 and I find B is not 1 here. I don't execute statement 2. I go to statement 3. I execute and uh, there I have return 3 into power of A is 3 here, 3 comma B minus 1, B is uh, 3. So 3 minus 1 is 2. So I go to power again. So here I am going to power function again. So here is power. Same function. Uh, parameters are A equal to 3 and B equal to 2. A and B. Right. So I execute the first statement. I am executing power code again because this is equal to power. So uh, I find B is not 1, B is 2. So I uh, don't execute statement number 2. I go to statement number 3 directly. It says return. Uh, A here is 3 and 3 into power of uh, 3 comma 2 minus 1 is 1 right so power of a comma b minus 1 so i go to power again right so in power function now i have a equal to 3 b equal to 1 so i execute the first statement and i find b equal to 1 this time i find b equal to 1 so i execute second statement now and i return return a right that means I have 3 raised to 1, right? So I return A, that is equal to 3 here, right? So I return 3, right? For the first time, I am returning second statement. I am not going to third statement. So from this call, I will return from this, right? So I will return 3 here, right? So now this 3 will replace uh, this call, right? 3. And then I will close this bracket, right? This bracket, right? this bracket of this call. And now I will compute 3 into 3, 9. So I'll return 9 from here, right? So 9 will replace this call, right? So I'll get uh, 3 into 9, right? So 3 into 9 is 27. So I'll return 27 from here, right? Right. So this 27 will replace this. Now I'll cl close this bracket. 27, three, uh, 27 into 3 is 81. So I'll be returning 81 from here, right? And, and this 81 is answer to this power a comma b calls a comma b call so power 3 comma 4 generated power 3 comma 3 power 3 comma 3 generated power 3 comma 2 power 3 comma 2 generated power 3 comma 1 and power 3 comma 1 from power 3 comma 1 we return uh, 3 uh, so the terminating condition or the recurrence recursion will terminate uh, when b or this parameter is equal to 1 Right. So we'll return one. We'll return a from there. Okay. So uh, thank you.